Hello, I'm Jose Persico. Just a couple of blocks west of Cité de Festival on Sherbrooke Street, you'll come across the Holiday Inn. In here lies La Plaza, another member of the PMG management group. Let's go inside and meet the owners. Adamo Sicoli, the co-owner and general manager here. First of all, thank you for allowing us inside your wonderful La Plaza here. It's our pleasure having you. You guys have been in business since when? 94, we've been here since 1994 and we're a family run operation, so we're very proud of that. And we have a beautiful hotel. So if people get a little too rowdy, they have rooms to We always have room at the end of the night. How, Adamo, you've seen your fair share of parties here at La Plaza. Of course. Do they get out of control every now all and then? All the time, only, only the good ones. Only the good ones. Okay, what can we expect about the Mr. Joe, the chef in the kitchen? Well, we'll, we'll soon go in the kitchen and find out. We have some, some nice treats, some wonderful recipes in store for you guys. So we'll take a look mm -hmm. and uh, we'll try some. Well, that's what we're here for. Okay, let's go inside the kitchen and cook with Chef Joe. Promotional consideration provided by Rose Hill Foods, The Flavor People, Padessa Group, The Specialists in Italian Brands, Plaza Management Group, Pasta Doro. Welcome back to the Melting Pot. Here we are inside the kitchen of La Plaza. As usual, I'm joined by executive chef Giulio Demino and Joe Mazzaferra. Said that right, Joe? Mazzaferro. Okay. As Mazzaferro, Mazzaferro. Anyway, you, you know what I mean, right? You're close. I'm close. I'm close. We are going to cook. Well, it's good. We're going to cook, Giulio, and it's kind of interesting here at La Plaza because we're starting off with fish. Fish. Nice cold fish entree. This is a cold fish entree. But it's going to be a southern type of dish, Italian southern type of dish. It's going to be a cold lasagna style uh, entree with fish. Lasagna style. Okay, here we go, Joe. Off you go. What's the first step? What so, is he going to do here? So now we're sauteing uh, onions. You oh, can I use like... Spanish onions. You can use red onions. Lots of onions there. Hey, what's Julia? nice? What's yeah? Lots of onions. Well, we like onions, so, so makes a it gives a nice sweetness to the fish. So if you say raw fish, uh, everything else is cooked, but the fish is like a sushi. It's no, a... no, no, no. We're going to cook the fish, but okay. it'll be it'll be uh, half cooked. Let's say. Okay. Oh, okay. It, so it's it, not raw. It, no, it's not completely raw. Okay, a little pepper there he put in. Okay, onions, sauteing some onions first. What onions else, Julia? Go ahead, Joe. Okay, so he seasoned the onions. We're going to sear the uh, the fish. This is, what type of fish is this? Now, you can use different types of fish for this, okay? Uh -huh. As long as it's a white filet of fish. It could okay. be sole, it could be dore, uh, dore, as long as it's white. Very it could also be a merluzzo. Okay, merluzzo. Which, which is or, merlin. Right. Yeah, merlin. So it, it could be something... Whatever, whatever you like to use. Okay, so okay. a light, a light sauté. Exactly. So he's gonna take it off the fire. You know, put it on paper so it drains the stuff. Okay. Right. And Careful. this we're gonna let it cool down. Gonna cool down. It, we're gonna let it because cool down. Because we did say it's a cold dish. Absolutely. Cold so, fish, cold dish. Ba basically, I was once a cold fish. <laughs> Were you a cold fish, Joe, one day? All the time. All the time. All the time. Okay. <laughs> Where's the white wine here? Any white wine? Any flambe? No, 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 no. I love no, a flambe no. dish. You know that, Joe. We'll, we'll flambe a little later. We'll flambe, flambe a little later. later. Okay. So he's searing all his pieces. Okay. Right, we're going to put them aside. All right. We're going to let it cool down. So and this... then we'll mount our dish. Okay, we're going to mount. And this would be a first course. Yes. You could do it. You could cook it all the way through. Okay. Or the way we, we also do it, it could be a, some type of a ceviche style dish. Ceviche would mean? It would be raw fish, but it's, it's cooked with salt, right? lemon juice, uh -huh. okay? And left in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Oh, okay, so you marinate it. Okay. Right. And red don't vinegar. forget, oh, of course, the red, the red wine vinegar. Red wine okay. vinegar there. Okay, there's Joe doing that, and I think we're coming close to plating this dish. Right, so you see the onions? Yes, the onions are very golden. Yeah, they're sweating here. What's he doing now? One more. One more, one more. Because you want to make like a, when I said a, a cold lasagna, 
it'll be layered. And, and the onions are going to go in between the basil, the lemon, the vinegar. So, yeah, so he's referring to the layering of the fish. When I say lasagna. That's what we mean lasagna, you know, he's using that term because that's what the lasagna is. It's a layering of an Italian noodle. Absolutely. With meat inside, meat but this inside. is going to have fish. Fish. Right. Fish on fish on fish. Fish on fish. Okay, Joe, what else? Little olive oil? What are you using, by the way? Vegetable, vegetable oil. Okay, vegetable oil. Always warm up the pans uh, before. Keep them nice and hot. Now Lightly seared. There you go. Nice. That's, those are nice uh, looking fish there. Like, they're almost good to eat right now. Mm. A little bit of lemon and who needs that's the... A, that's, uh, a, that's an exact who needs, ceviche. Who, who needs the layering? Right. Okay, but for our purposes, we're going to make it fancy. Go ahead, Joe. What else? Joe's been with uh, La Plaza for how long? He's been uh, working for the PMG Group uh, for at least 15 years. Wow, so there's always an experienced bunch here at, Absolutely. at your organization. Absolutely. Which helps. All, right, all our staff have been with us for a very long time. Okay, okay, I Joe, mean, what's next? We're just about ready to play, Julia. Yeah, and so Joe. now we're going to layer everything nicely, okay. and then it will go in the fridge to cool down. Okay. Remember, the 24-hour rule is very, very important. That's where we'll co cook the fish completely, between the lemon and the vinegar. The acidities are going to cook it right through. Okay, good. So he's draining the onions there. Absolutely. That's we'll why they're going aside. in that special bowl. So you're going to put that aside. We're going to take our fish. Here comes our fish. Okay, so let's get rid of this one. Look at this nice before and after. Before. Giving it the before. nice. Before. And after, before, and after. after. <laughs> okay. Okay. Don't put that on the pot. Okay, so now he's layering it. He's putting a base of a base of onion. Base of onion. Okay, we're making like a lasagna now. Okay. So it's different, different uh, layers. Very nice. So we're going to stop it there, okay. right? We're going to season it. Season it with what? Salt, um, pepper. Julia? We're going to put in some basil here, so so we give it that Italian southern feel to it. Oh, look at Okay. Oh, yeah. This is like a Mediterranean looking dish. Exactly. Little red vinegar. But it's very solid. This is very home style food. Okay, little vinegar. Just a sprinkle, just like that. Lemon. Nice little, little lemon. lemon. You could use some shallots, as you see there. Uh huh. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could put. Uh, chopped up red peppers. So he's going to layer the onions again. Wow, look at that. Okay. And this is going to sit in a refrigerator 24 hours. For 24 hours. And remember, the trick to this is the cooking is the lemon and the vinegar. That's right. The that acidity will, of the. It, of it will the... absorb. The fish will absorb it. Of course. And uh, that's why it's very also. important to lightly fry. Exactly. The fish. Now we're going to season again salt and pepper. And I'm going to use these pepper. onions to, to just place it on top. There you go, a little salt and pepper. We're going to sprinkle with the lemon, red wine vinegar again. Same process, exactly like you're making That's a right. lasagna. There you go. Don't forget. Don't the forget lemon. the lemon juice, lemon. Lemon. Joe. Yeah, get the lemon. That's I love the lemon juice, Jojo. Jo. Look at this. And then you're going to well, top now, it off we're with We're going to top onion. it off with this, right? And basil. And like okay. I said. Okay, and this goes into refrigeration. And when it's Cover. done, what does it look like? Final drum roll. When it's done, you it see? comes out. It looks like a All the way fish lasagna. Through. Look at that. And you would plate it. Now, Go we, ahead, gentlemen. We just for for presentation's sake, you could use a base of uh, salad. You could base a base of endive, radicchio. Wow, we, this is beautiful. We we just like chopped up some vegetables just to give the dish uh, some color. This is very unique. I've never seen this, and you call this fillet of soul. It could be filet of sole, it could be a doré, it could be a uh, swordfish, you, merlot, Merlin, or, any type of fish shark. that you desire. Anything. Wow. And you know what we need? A bit of olive oil. A little olive oil, which is right here. A bit of olive oil. And you don't give it like a little bam of green in there, like, you know, like... You know what, let's, let's use some of this. You know what? Some of this, just to go... All right, this is what you do. Okay. There you go, let, let oh, the chef do. There you go, as he's preparing that. Hey, look at that, very nice, Joe. That's dish number one. What are we cooking for dish number two? Pasta. Pasta, of course. <laughs> Stay with us as the melting pot continues. <laughs> Promotional consideration provided by Chia. Transcending time for 60 years. Sacred Heart School. The Sacred Heart School of Montreal celebrating 150 years of excellence in education in 2010-2011. Saputo, a family tradition since 1954. CMC Imports. Bruno and Nick Distributors.
Welcome back to the melting pot. Look, folks, it's the Stanley Cup of pasta. What a kid with, with a pepper. What a kid with a pepper. That's what I always wanted as a kid. A cup full of pasta. Okay, Julia and Joe, what are we going to make here? Orecchietti, homemade Orecchietti. pasta. Um, Which is we, like little ears. Exactly. <laughs> and and they simply shape them with their thumbs. Oh, okay, good. All right? And it's so fresh. It's pasta, it's fresh pasta all the time. And you're going to garnish this with? We're going to make um, a puttanesca sauce, which... Puttanesca. I heard Which today. is a bad word in Italian. <laughs> which means... <laughs> lady, 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 donna. lady of the evening. <laughs> exactly. Lady of the evening. It's, it's a recipe after a famous lady, right? Back in Italy, and uh, whose story we're not going to bore you with. But let's just say... She was very popular. Right. Okay. Now they call her Belladonna. And now they've made a pasta after her. Exactly. Okay, go ahead. So, so is Joe, Joe is going to start cooking. red sauce, right? That's a nice red sauce. But okay, let, me, let me explain you a bit of the... Uh, oh, as he douses the... Uh, he's going to start cooking the pasta. Okay, in goes the pasta, yeah, Joe salted, and Joe. Salted water. Salted water. We're going to boil. Whoa. All right. We like to use our hands here. Huh? The Stanley cup of pasta. Okay. We're going to go back to the table here on the other side. And we're going to chop up all the ingredients. Now you got the anchovies, you got the black olives, the calamates, okay. you got the capers. Okay. And here you're going to see some flambéing going on. Okay, good. Okay, so he's chopping anchovies, Julio. Absolutely. He's going to chop the anchovies, he's going to chop up the black olives and now, the capers. Now, for people that don't like anchovies, what would you recommend as a substitute? Well, listen, this is... Can the recipe be done without anchovies? I mean, the recipe, any recipe can be done without right. the anchovies. I mean, okay. you just simply don't put them. Well, there you go. Exactly. It's not a belladonna. It's not a belladonna. So okay. he's chopping already. But in this These case... These are black olives? A calamati black olives. Okay, good. Deep pitted. Right. Capers. Little capers. He's chopping everything up because you want it to melt. And you want it to seem in the sauce that it's not even there. Okay, I got the pasta. The pasta's got the boiling. pasta, the pasta. Here comes the pasta, baby. Look at this. Which means it's ready. <laughs> it's ready. It's ready. We're com it's coming out. So start your sauce. Okay, after everything is diced, a little bit of garlic. So we don't want the garlic to burn, no, do this you? Is, this is a fast sauce, so okay, he's, go gonna, he's gonna take it out of from the fire, okay. go back to his cooking table, put everything together. Right. Everything together, deglaze it, we're gonna deglaze it after with some white wine. Here comes my favorite part. Yeah, give, let's give it a second, let's warm it up. Here comes my gotta favorite be part. Nice and hot. Okay, so let's throw some wine in there. Go ahead, Joe. Flambe, flambe. Yeah, where's the flambe? Where's that flame? Where's that flame, Joe? We're using cognac later, so <laughs> you'll see it uh, really go up. Okay. Now we got. We're gonna bring it over again on the did other side. Say, did he say we'll see it really go up? What does oh. that mean? <laughs> what does well, that mean, there, Julia? We're, we're making a belladonna pasta. Okay, this so. is a family <laughs> show. Remember that. <laughs> All right. A little sauce. Explain that sauce. A marinara sauce, which just is just a, a simple tomato sauce with fresh basil inside. Uh, oh which God. we, we cook beautiful. not too long on the, on the stove, maybe a good hour, and it keeps that freshness. Wow, inside. it smells beautiful. So this is your sauce. Now we're going to bring it up to a boil. And here comes your orecchietta pasta. Oh my gosh, that looks wonderful. And you're going to let that cook stove top. Just simmer it. Simmer wow. it so the, the pasta absorbs everything. I wish I could do that. I, 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 need a, I need a spoon to do that. Imagine when you're doing this for four or five hundred people. Wow. So huh? It's all on the wrist, eh, hey, Joe? That's it. <laughs> That's a big hand. I mean, this pasta is just a little How's too... How's this? Uh... How am I doing? <laughs> Not bad, huh? No, you have to jerk it. Excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> the family show here. Okay, here we go. Okay, there we go. Let's, so let's, let's plate it. Let's plate. Okay, before, we got to make sure the counter is clean. There we go. Okay, Joe. Here comes a beautiful plate. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Joe and Julio. This, this is a type of pasta dish that doesn't really require any formaggio or cheese on it. Am I correct? No, the tastes are in, in the it's in the built, recipe are right. are really uh, like in there and I mean, you want to taste all the ingredients. Because parmigiano reggiano or romano cheese is going to Kill, the, kill the, the tanginess of this And dish. another thing, we'll make it a lot more saltier. That's right. And you don't the capers and the anchovies. There you go. Wow. So That's we just it. topped it off with some basil. Here it is. And for those that want a little more sauce, they can do that Absolutely. easily. That's dish number two. What's dish number three, gentlemen? I'm the... Second pasta. A like second pasta, pasta dish. They but love stuff. Stuff. They love their pasta. So dish number three is, wow, this looks interesting. This is medallone. Medallone stuffed with stone crab. So give us a little bit of rundown on the ingredients used in okay. this dish. So here we have some uh, stone crab, which we get from our local guys here that supply okay. us with our fish uh, on a weekly basis, on a uh -huh. daily basis. Actually. Fresh fish. Fresh, all the time, okay? Uh, we'll take it, we'll crack it, and uh, then we'll make a little batter with it. We'll chop it up with some onions, shallots, as you see there, garlic, uh, season it. We won't put anything acidic because you want, it goes with a pasta, mm -hmm. so you don't want to stuff it that way. 
what you could use sometimes is also some ricotta. Put oh, in some okay. ricotta so it, it, it ma amalgamates everything okay. together. And you have cream and butter as well? Yeah, that's for our sauce. Okay. Start off and with you have this, which well, interests that's, me. That's the, the flambéing. Uh, this is my favorite part. That's the, when it goes hi uh, high or... Gautier cognac. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. So where do we begin? Okay, he starts off with a little butter. So he's uh, making the butter just melt so that we don't uh, burn it and we'll give it that nutty flavor. Okay. Okay. He's putting in some shallots. Could also use onions. Which are green onions. Yes, but I, I like the texture of uh, using uh, green onions because it just uh, gives some volume Here's to the, the sauce. Oh, look at that. And there's your flambe. Oh, that was a big one, Joe. I like that. There go my eyebrows. <laughs> do it again, do it again. No, no, maybe not. No, no, maybe not. All right, here we go. Let's continue. So he just flambe that you wanted to, to just uh, sit in there, adding some cream. Okay. And he's going to add the tomato sauce. Is that 35% cream? 35% cream. So if people are lactose intolerant, I mean, this is you not could, a dish for them. I mean, you could uh, you could make a, use a powdered... Uh, oh, powdered milk. Sure. Powdered or skim milk, milk maybe? Yeah. Okay, yeah. skim milk will work. A little tomato sauce, he added to that. So this is a rosé sauce. Nice reduction. Okay. We're going to start cooking the medaglione. Medaglione, please. For TV's sake, we cooked it already. We pre -cooked. Take, we pre -cooked and tell us that. a little about these special medallones. Uh, you get them from a special place? This, this is a sure? local guy uh, on the South Shore. Okay. Uh, he supplies us with this special, special type of pasta. Oh, but sometimes we, we, and this we make our stuffing like. ourselves. And this is what the stuffing is looking like. Exactly. Look at this. The stone crab inside, which was all chopped up with a bit of ricotta. Really wow. a nice product. Wonderful. And this guy does a super job. And how long does it sit in boiling salted water? Well, on a normal base, it would take about 8 to 10 minutes. But like I said, we, we just blanched them before. Okay. So it'll go a lot quicker. Okay, perfect. So now what's important in this dish is that the medaglione sit oh. in the sauce wow. for, for them to absorb. You want a nice reduction of it. Okay, All right? so they're really getting flavorful in there. Yeah, let's let's bite it up over here. Okay, what else, Joe? We're going on. We're gonna plate it there. That's it. That's it. Wow, that's, that's it. good. Let's plate this baby. Wow. So this was relatively easy. This was nice, a simple sauce. Very easy to do as long as your base is done. Oh, and the man. cognac just gives it the flavor. It you can smells smell it. Unbelievable. So on a regular base, we could use this for a duel, or we could just serve it as it is. We serve four of them. I think is more than enough. Nice little bit of sauce. And you know what? We'll just decorate it with an edible flower which gives it a nice little pepperish taste. Wow. So once again, this dish is called medaglione. Medaglione stuffed with stone crab with a cardinal sauce. Wow. With a cardinal sauce and a flambe, which kind of is going to make the highlight reel Absolutely. because our, our eyebrows, eyebrows are... almost went on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Would you believe a double dose? Two more dishes Two more. when we come back for our final break. What are we going to make? We're going to make some filet of salmon and we're gonna make a uh, veal milfeuille, which is a, a layered uh, veal. A little surf and turf. A little sort meat. of, yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Stay with us as the melting pot continues. We'll be back right after this. Promotional consideration provided by Raymond Weil, Watches of Geneva, Switzerland. Linter Marche Lagoria, three locations to serve you best. Tiamo Entertainment, to set the mood right for all your celebrations. BMW Laval, where joy is refusing to wait. Welcome back to The Melting Pot. Two more dishes to complete our show. Joe and Julio, tell us uh, surf and turf here. Surf and turf. All wow. right, but a little different from the traditional surf and turf, usually with the lobster or the shrimp. We're going to do it with a filet of salmon and a veal meat. Pacific fried. Atlantic salmon? This is Atlantic salmon. Okay. And what else? Okay, so now basically what, what's happening here is the, the salmon will be searing it, season it, 
and then we'll put it in the oven. And okay? the ingredients with the salmon, of course, we're lemon, gonna have butter. We're gonna have lemon butter. We're gonna have some basil. And this is cheese. Yeah, this is. But this is not going with the fish. Oh, we we, we did a little, uh, oh, okay. a little, you know, tarimata, surf and turf stuff. Okay. And <laughs> this is a, this is a mushroom of sorts. Oyster mushroom. Oyster mushroom. Fresh oyster mushroom. That's gonna be on the veal side. Veal side. Okay. So the veal is going to be the the. Ma, di terra. Oh, di terra. <laughs> the turf. The turf. Oh, man, That's what I was hearing. All right, so let's begin. Surf and turf. Here we All go. All right, so Joe is going to start. Here we go. We start off, as always, with a little oil. A nice hot pan. This is vegetable Look oil. Look at that. It's oh steaming God, it's already. Really hot. Oh. He's going he's gonna to do this away from the away from Of the course. Salt, you know? Of course. So. You want to gently tap it in flour. The flour. And boom. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that steam. My Salt, God. Salt, pepper. Is there a can't fan in the house? <laughs> Fans going. Well, we wanted special effects on the show. I, I think this is what we were talking about. Okay, there we go. You know when we, we do our events and we have the smoke machine? Yeah, this is like fog I mean, machine here. Joe, Joe does it naturally. Okay, Joe, what else? There you go. Next. We're going to start something. the, the Let's veal. do the veal while that cooks. How long does that stay in the oven for? It's going to take about uh, 12 minutes, okay? 12 minutes in the oven. You don't want it too, too cook. So, <coughs> so we can do the veal while that cooks and we get over our cough. Let's do the veal. Okay, so, so are we going to pound this veal, uh, Joe and Julio? Well, it was pounded before. Okay, so really? we, we advanced a little, but okay. it's nice milk-fed veal. Milk-fed Okay, veal. it's from a local uh, supplier again. Okay, so we start off, as always, with a little vegetable and oil. And his, his veal is amazing. His Here we go, Joe. Now, veal, very, very important not to overcook your veal. No. You just want to sear it quickly on both sides, and then we're going to finish it off uh, in the oven layered. Okay, layered. Here we go, Joe. So Joe, don't smoke everything up again. Again, there he goes. No special effects <laughs> no for this, this uh, Joe. There we go. That's it. Get a little flour on my clothes. It's not a problem. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> you missed that. You missed that. Bro. <laughs> you missed that. You know what I did? I just did this. Hey, Joe. Bam! <laughs> All right, here we go. No, we're having fun. You know, we're yeah. having fun. Look, Joe's a good guy. Whoa. We we would throw you, we would throw you out of the kitchen. Yeah, we'll go there very fast. <laughs> Joe, as you can tell, he's a very neat chef. Look at him. He really gets down and dirty on the job. So that's okay. it. Did you see that? I did. Lightly thirty seconds. Videos. Thirty seconds. Wow, that was quick. All right, let's put it back in the dish. Back in the dish. That's not the final dish. Nope. It's just. We're what going else? back to the stove. Now here come the mushrooms. Now we're going to saute the mushrooms with a touch of onions. Okay. And we're going to start our uh, filling. These are what type of mushrooms again? Oyster mushrooms. A little salt. Salt, pepper. I would throw in some shallots in okay. there. Some shallots or in onions, there. whatever. Go. Shallots in there. Show that I that I douse you too much with flour. No, that's fine. I want to make you look busy so you, you'll get a raise. <laughs> you, look, you look good. Look. Look at this. He looks good. He looks good. Okay. There you go. Okay. Thank what's you, next? Thank you. Let's go back over here. We, we just we just blanched some pin, uh, spinach, spinach, which we're gonna we're gonna put this inside. Okay. Are you gonna put any booze in there? No, no booze on no this. No alcohol one. in this dish. Okay. No booze on this. One. There you go, Joe. So he's sauteing everything, which this this will be the stuffing for the veal oh, in between the layers. Nice. Okay. okay? I, which I, we're gonna add, finish off with some uh, shaved provolone. Right. That's where the cheese goes. Okay. Mm. Okay. All right. That, that so let, let's. Let's go back and let's start mounting our dish. Wait, before we mount, uh, Joe, there. Okay, okay, that's good. Let's, <laughs> let's start mounting. Here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to put a bit of olive oil so it doesn't stick at the bottom here. Now we're going to mount up our uh, veal. Okay, mount the veal in. So we're going to put one layer. Our stuffing okay. of uh, oyster mushrooms right. sautéed with uh, spinach and shallots that's and right. garlic. Onion, we're right. going to put in some of that provolone just to make it stick together. Here again, I'm using my hands. I'm so you're making like a shine. veal club sandwich. <laughs> exactly. Nice. That's a nice Look at that. idea. Veal club sandwich here at La Plaza. There we go. Again, the cheese. mushrooms. Joe, so you're not upset at me, is it? Not I, at I, all. Not at all. Okay, good. Just checking. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Don't want, don't want to upset a chef. Okay, then, so then, now, so now what we'll do... This goes in the oven, I would imagine. We're just going to put a dab of tomato sauce, tomato and then sauce. I'll come back here and put some cheese. A dab so, of tomato sauce? Just go. to give it some nice color. Oh, look okay? at that. And, and then we want we want the nice... And this goes in the oven for... In the, in the oven. How many degrees for how long? 375 for about 20 minutes. Okay, Is, how's our salmon doing? Salmon is almost cooked. We're ready to plate the, the, uh, the both dishes. Okay, let's okay. plate both dishes here. Through the magic of television, here come the both dishes. We have our vegetables in the oven, which we uh, pre-steam. Uh, 
Uh, we have uh, a mixture of arancini and... Uh, arancini is a rice ball. Right. It's an Italian rice ball. It was shaped like an apple. You see, like it's really apple. nice and fancy. It's yeah, also used as an appetizer. Absolutely. Okay, Joe, okay, here we Joe. come. Oh, this is wonderful. Look at this. Okay, so we're going to put this all in the middle. So here is the arancini, which, you yeah. know what? I like to squash it a little so it cracks on the side. So people know what they're eating. We've got a Provencal tomato, which is just a simple tomato, which was carved. Filled up with the same type of spinach we sauteed and filled the, the, uh, the veal. And no, this is not cheese. This is a touch of mayo. Whoa, mayo. Wow. wow. It, lo it looks like it's cooked mayo. And now we got some roasted potato, which we'll decorate here. We've got roasted red and yellow pepper. And go. we just uh, steamed a zucchini. It's a wonderful uh, tandem here at La Plaza. So now, Look at them. see the size of the dish? I mean, on a general base, we don't serve the size. but. For TV, we're showing both dishes. We could have only the salmon, or you could have the veal. So if people that like fish, they can go with the fish dish. Absolutely. And people that love their veal. Julie and Joe, the salmon and the yep. veal are ready. Up. Okay, so let's put the veal here. Oh, look how pretty that looks, Julio. You see, it got all together. The nice provolone is melted on the top. Oh, that's beautiful. And here comes the wonderful salmon. So meanwhile, while I'll just finish up the little touches of the the veal. Joe, Joe is making the sauce with the lemon uh, reduction. Oh, that's beautiful. This is wonderful. Okay, so we're just going to chop up some uh, um, spinach here and make a nice little chiffonade. Watch the fingers. Chiffonade. All right. So we'll make it look nice and pretty. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's pretty. How's that sauce coming along, Joe? It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Joe, we need a nice sauce. Wow, this is pretty. And again, this is recommended for those of you that love fish. So salmon. here he just added a little bit of cream. Oh, nice. A little cream and a little lemon. Lemon, lemon. and basil. And basil. And that Ooh, is it. Touch it up and a do, little. Do you Give zap it. it with a little flour? Well, that's it. And that is so it. So here we go. My We've gosh. got a style of surf and turf. Could be served separately or together. There you have it. It doesn't get any easier than this with Julia Domino and Joe Mazzafero. Mazzafero here at the Flower Plaza. Man. Flower Man, that's right. By the way, I apologize. You guys were terrific. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank well, you. there you have it. Join us for another episode of The Melting Pot. In the meantime, I'm Mosey Persico. Bon appetit. Promotional consideration provided by Rose Hill Foods, the flavor people. Advanced Biomechanical Rehabilitation Center, AL Limited. Raymond Weil. Watches of Geneva, Switzerland. Sacred Heart School. The Sacred Heart School of Montreal celebrating 150 years of excellence in education in 2010-2011. La Plaza. Chiat. Transcending time for 60 years. Tiamo Entertainment. To set the mood right for all your celebrations. Saputo. A family tradition since 1954. Lintermarché La Goria. Three locations to serve you best. Padessa Group, the specialists in Italian brands. BMW Laval, where joy is refusing to wait. Mose Persico's wardrobe provided by Le Chateau. Welcome back to the Melting Pot. Here we are inside the kitchen at La Plaza. As usual, my executive chef, Giulio Dimino, and I'm joined by Joe Mazzavello. Oh, look at that. There's your flambe. Oh, that was a big one, Joe. There go my eyebrows. Do it again. Do it again. No, no, maybe not. <laughs> oh, look at that steam. Oh, Salt, God. pepper. Is there a fan in the house? Fans going. Well, we wanted special effects on the show. I, I think this is what we were talking about. Okay, here we go. You know what, you know what I did? I just did this. Hey, Joe. Bam! All right, here we go. No, we're having fun. You know, we're having fun.